This video is a review about mitosis and meiosis that compares them side by side so that you can have a good idea about the differences and similarities between the two of them. So both of them, you start with a diploid cell that underwent cell division or S phase and you actually have twice the diploid cell. So on both of them, you start with what we call a 2 times 2 n cell, which is a diploid cell with two sets of chromatids per chromosome. Now in the meiosis, the formation of tetrads followed by crossing over will happen during the prophase, all right? So that synapsis will, and the crossing over will happen across the chiasmata, which is the actual connections between the uh, cross jumbled up chromosomes, which are homologs. Now, that pairing up of homologs will not happen during mitosis. And crossing over will not happen, all right? And remember that crossing over is one of the reasons why a meiosis has generic variation. While mitosis has generic conservation, which means that you basically make a copy of the original because there's no crossing over. Also, metaphase is different in that instead of lining up all the chromosomes uh, in the center, and you line up pairs of chromosomes in the center in meiosis. And so that instead of separating the chromatids, you separate the homologs in meiosis 1. And then mitosis is now done at telophase, and where, where two nucleuses form an opposite end, cytokinesis happens, and you have daughter nuclei, which are just like the original cells, which then uh, will undergo cytokinesis to separate the cells. Now, if you're doing me my meiosis, the process is not yet the over. It will still have to go a second division, but this time... After cytokinesis, you don't go into an interface which makes the replication of DNA. So since the DNA process is skipped, you're going to end up reforming the spindle immediately going to prophase and causing another reduction division which makes the cells end up as half cells. And remember that during metaphase 2, all the chromosomes line up in the equator just kind of like they do during the anaphase anaph anaph of the mitosis. And then the cytokinesis from each of those separated homologs will separate to opposite ends of the thing. And then the telophase 2 will happen, cytokinesis, and you have a complete meiosis. So you see the process similarities and differences between the two of them, and that meiosis has the extra step without the extra, extra DNA copy, which causes a reduction division, and it also separates homologs, which does not happen during mitosis, and it also has a second separation where the chromatids are separated, and it also has that interchange or the uh, crossing over. On this second comparison here, you have the same things. You know, parent cells are essentially the same. Chromosome application is simply the same. But prophase has crossing over and tetrad formation. Metaphase is different yeah, because you're going to separate homologs, not chromatids. You, you immediately make identical copies in mitosis. But because of the second division and the separation of the chromatids and homologs, you actually make daughter cells, which are half cells. But because of crossing over, not only are these half cells different from the original cells, they're also re recombin recombined or uh, different versions of the original chromosomes are actually present. It's not just half the chromosomes, but altered versions of the half chromosomes because the chromosomes split pieces and switch them. Right? So, while mitosis has one cell division, meiosis has two cell divisions, which means that while mitosis makes two daughter cells, meiosis will make four daughter cells. While mitosis will make identical copies of the DNA, and it will make two diploid cells from each diploid cell original, remember this only happens because right before you, you actually make a two times two N cell, which then splits up into, uh, into two two N cells right? But the same thing happens during meiosis, but because of the extra division, you end up with half cells or haploid cells instead of that. Uh, also, there is no pairing of homologs in mitosis, but there's pairing of homologs across synapses uh, in meiosis. There is no crossing over on mitosis, which means no recombination, but there is recombination and crossing over during meiosis, all right? Centromeres divide during the anaphase 1, but in meiosis, the centromeres do not divide in anaphase 1. Instead, the tetrads divide during the anaphase 1, and then centromeres will divide in anaphase 2 in a similar process of what happens during the mitosis. 
this is a conservative process of mitosis because it makes identical copies to the original. So this is, will be used for purposes such as growth and uh, asexual reproduction of eukaryotic organisms and also uh, repair of tissue. While meiosis will be, the purpose is to the creation of sexual cells. Uh, mitosis happens all over the body in all of the somatic cells. Meiosis happens only in germ cells, which are capable of creating those gametes. The product of mitosis is an identical cell to whatever the original was. The product of meiosis is a gamete cell, right? Um, the mitosis is most like a, a asexual reproduction. Meiosis is a step in sexual reproduction, all right? Uh, Remember, the chromosome number is going to be the same in mitosis, but in meiosis, the chromosome number is in half. T cells which come out of mitosis, because it's two divisions, tend to be smaller than the cells coming out of... Uh, sorry, cells from meiosis are typically smaller than the ones from mitosis because they, they don't undergo uh, the growth during the G2 phase prior, or in G1 phase prior to the second division, so they tend to be slightly smaller. Mitosis causes an exact copy, while meiosis will actually cause recombination because of crossing over and actual, actual um, reduction of the code because of the two, two divisions. Mitosis invests less energy than meiosis because meiosis has two divisions, right? Uh, the mother cell is identical to the daughter cells in mitosis, but in meiosis, the mother cells and daughter cells are different, right? Um, meiosis has unique processes such as um, the crossing over and the separation of the homologs which only happens in meiosis and that is why meiosis is so important because it would actually facilitate the process of genetic variation we talked about it in the meiosis video crossing over independent of assortment and then separation of homologs followed by random fertilization guarantee that each individual person is completely different from every other person has ever set foot on this planet and the likelihood of having two people who are the same is very very small also notice what's happening to the dna count during the g1 phase you have a normal amount of dna right which is uh two copies of each dna code because this remember it's a diploid cell but during the S phase, you double that to two times two n, so you got four copies of, of the entire DNA, DNA code, and that will proceed through G2 until mitosis happens and you go back to normal. So that's how the DNA copy looks as you're looking at the mitosis. But in meiosis, the same thing will happen, but since there's two divisions, you end up with half the DNA or a haploid cell. So uh, this overview. Uh, talked about this basic dif differences between mitosis and meiosis and hopefully you can go from here and, and understand uh, the difference between these two processes.